This video explains how to draw a plot with multiple rows as x-axis labels in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 7 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing which is called data and we can open a new window that is showing the structure of this data frame by clicking on the data set and then you can see that our data frame contains four columns. The first and second columns are called axis 1 and axis 2 and these two columns will be used to create the axis labels on the x-axis. And the columns x and y contain numeric values that will be shown in our plot. As you can see the second column axis 2 contains an axis label only once for each year and the first axis column contains the four quarters of each year. So if we want to draw these data in a base R plot, we can use the plot function as you can see in lines 9 to 11 of the code. So in these lines of code I'm specifying that I want to draw our values in the columns x and y and I'm specifying the type of the plot that I want to show. So in this case I want to create a scatter plot where the dots in the scatter plot are represented by a circle. So if you run lines 9 to 11 of the code, you can see at the bottom right of RStudio that a new plot has been drawn and this plot shows a line plot with circles for the dots in our data frame. Now let's assume that we want to change the axis labels of this plot so that two rows of x-axis labels are shown that correspond to our columns axis 1 and axis 2. Then we can use the code that you can see in lines 13 to 19. So in the first step in lines 13 to 17 of the code I'm once again using the plot function and in the first three rows of this syntax I'm using the same arguments as in the previous example. However then I'm also specifying the xlab argument to be equal to an empty blank and the xx argument to be equal to n. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the bottom right that all the labels and axis ticks and values are removed from our plot. And then in the next step in line 18 of the code I'm using the axis function to add an x-axis to our plot based on the first axis column in our data frame. So if you run line 18 of the code you can see at the bottom right that a new x-axis is shown and you can see that this x-axis contains the quarters that we have specified in our data frame column axis 1. However in this tutorial we want to add a second x-axis in another axis row and for that reason we need to apply the axis function once again as you can see in line 19 of the code. And in this line of code I'm specifying that I want to add the axis labels contained in the data frame column axis 2. And I'm also specifying the line argument to be equal to 2.5 to make sure that our axis is shown at a different position than the first axis. So if you run line 19 of the code you can see that a second axis is added to our plot. And as you can see this axis shows the different years in our data. So in this first example I have explained how to create a base R plot with two x-axis labels. However it's also possible to do this using the ggplot2 package and this is what I want to show you in the next example starting in line 21 of the code. So in lines 21 and 22 of the code I'm first installing and loading the ggplot2 package. I have installed this package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 22 of the code. And after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package such as ggplot and geomline. So in lines 24 and 25 I'm creating a ggplot2 plot object as you can see after running these lines of code because now the plot object ggp is appearing at the top right. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of our studio by running line 26 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a line plot that shows our data in our data frame. You can also see that at this point the x-axis labels are corresponding to the default specifications. However in this example we also want to add two new axis labels on the x-axis. 
And for this, we can use the code that you can see in lines 28 to 42 of the code. So in line 28, I'm once again specifying our plot object ggp. And then I'm adding to this the theme function. And within the theme function, I'm specifying the margins of our plot because I want to increase the white space below our plot to add our axis labels later on. And I'm also specifying that I want to remove the axis title and the axis text on the x-axis. Then I'm using the coord Cartesian function to specify the clip argument to be equal to off. And then in the next step, I'm using the annotate function to add two different axis labels. So in the first step, I'm adding the axis labels based on the column axis one. And in the next step, I'm adding the axis labels based on the data frame column axis two. So if you run lines 28 to 42 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated. And as you can see, this plot also shows two axis labels in two different rows. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.